Hi, I'm Katie Dayton, and this is your Wednesday update from Can Lions. This morning, Unilever made the bold promise of stamping out female stereotyping in its advertising. The conglomerate has previously been called out for compartmentalising women into either the stay-at-home mum or sex siren categories in ads for brands such as Magnum and Axe. Unilever announced it will now be telling its agencies to portray women as more authentic and three-dimensional. Media brand Vice also made a big announcement today. It's going to be launching TV and digital services in more than 50 countries. Its co-founder and CEO, Shane Smith, also announced its plans to launch an in-house lab in order to make its native ads work on mobile. He admitted that unless you're Facebook, mobile monetization is very difficult. As we get closer to the 23rd of June, discussions regarding the EU referendum are gathering pace. We spoke to Daniela Fiendaka, the founder of Creative Social, who told us he believes the majority of creatives wish the UK would remain in the European Union. The feedback is unanimous. Everyone wants Britain to remain. They understand the um, value Britain has within part of the EU, but m most importantly understand how important diversity is to creativity. So Martin Sorrell, never want to hold back an opinion, also branded a pro-Brexit vote as a potential disaster when he spoke on stage at the Palais today. Amidst all this politics, we managed to find the time to head down to the Innovation Hub today to check out Accenture Interactive's new iDance experience. Its MD, Joy Bhattacharya, showed us around the experiential tech station. We want to create a digital profile. If you almost think about it like an avatar, that's highly personalised to you, but it maps onto your 3D um, profile, and then you can start for it to do things that you always didn't dare, but you could do. So, so that's what we've done. We basically create an experience that allows your virtual self to come to life quickly or rapidly and engage with it in different dimensions. And finally, marketing personality Gary V found himself in some hot water today. Can attendee shared a party invite from his company, Vayner Media, specifying that only attractive females and models could attend. The invite also asked prospective guests to send a photo of themselves in advance in order to prove their beauty. Gary V responded by saying the invite was sent by a third party and apologised profusely via a series of Twitter videos. I'm really upset. I don't know the details yet, but I'll find out and I appreciate you calling out the issue. And I wish you well. Thank you. That's Wednesday all wrapped up. We'll be right here waiting for you tomorrow. See you then. Hollywood royalty Will Smith also spoke on stage today in conversation with Edelman. The actor and singer told the audience that he also sees himself as a marketer and has learnt that the best brands are putting people before products. 